With football season here, a lot of people love tailgating, and today we want to cover some food safety tips when it comes to tailgating specifically. We're here with Ravi in the Food and Ag Products Center Test Kitchen, and mm -hmm. Ravi, let's just start with why is food safety so important during tailgating season? Every year, 48 million Americans get sick, and uh, that turns into one in six Americans. Uh, uh, and then again, uh, about 128,000 people need some type of hospitalization and medical attention, and 3,000 people die because of some sort of foodborne illnesses. And usually the number of foodborne illnesses goes up during summer and fall because of the increased outdoor activity, such as uh, tailgating and uh, camping, hiking, and uh, family picnics. So it is important to keep ourselves sa safe during this time. That's why it is important to uh, practice good food handling during uh, tailgating. Now, in terms of food safety specifically during tailgating, what are some of the misuses that you commonly observe? Uh, the most common uh, thing I have noticed is uh, people do not plan ahead. They don't have enough ice or uh, frozen gel pack for their coolers, uh, undercooked meat. Uh, people use the same container to carry uh, cooked meat and raw meat. And again, uh, they don't wash their hands often enough. And sometimes people keep food out, perishable food out for long period of time. That make that food susceptible for foodborne pathogen growth. What's sort of the benchmark of time that we need to keep on our minds when we're out, you know, celebrating game day and our favorite team? Uh, <clears throat> so uh, let me give you like the all the things that we should uh, take care or we need to worry about while we are tailgating. First of all, we need to cook our food uh, properly and uh, thermometer. We always need to use thermometer during the cooking process. Um, for any intake piece of meat, uh, we need to cook it at 145 Fahrenheit internal temperature. Uh, the ten temperature for uh, any ground beef or ground meat is 160. And when we are talking about any type of poultry, then the, we need to cook our poultry to minimum 165 Fahrenheit. Uh, to make it safe for consumption and kill all the, the bad bugs. Uh, the other thing that we need to worry about is that if we have perishable food that is out for longer period of time, for example, or, uh, that if perishable food is out for more than two hours, then it needs to be thrown away. And uh, if temperature of uh, uh, outside is more than 90 Fahrenheit, then that the time window decreases to one hour. So be uh, mindful of that. And if you have something out for more than two hours, just throw it away. Okay. Lots of good information. I guess the key is to arm yourself with information yes. and, and the facts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ravi. And for more information on tailgating food safety, visit sunup.okstate.edu.